Welcome to Plant City Bonsai. I'm Steve Craddy, and today we're shooting our winter video. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get started. It's been a very interesting growing year. Uh, first, we had a, a good amount of rain, then the rain stopped, and uh, uh, it sort of stayed that way for us here in Georgia for the rest of the summer and early fall. And uh, it was a very challenging time for maples, elms, uh, trees like that. Uh, one tree, though, ac absolutely loved those conditions of lots of total sun, lots of heat. The Procumbens Nana, which is what we primarily carry in the sea of junipers, they have loved it this year, and they 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 have grown. They have actually they've actually done some ramification on their own. Uh, uh, this is a really good example. I just grabbed it uh, sort of at random. There are many trees out in the sea uh, that, are, that are just like this one. And what makes this one so nice is uh, it's actually an opportunity to make up to four plants off of this one. Uh, we divide these quite often. If you do it at the right time of year, which winter is a good time to do that. Uh, we do like a vertical slice with a saw and uh, rarely, rarely have I ever lost one that I've divided. Uh, they, in fact, they just start flourishing when you do that. They've been in these pots for so long, uh, it's just, it's unreal. But this is a good example uh, of, of how to get up to four trees off of one, uh, out of one container. This one here would be the main tree, has great movement, strong bark, it's unbelievable. And uh, here, here's your small tree that's sort of a windswept. And uh, on the other side, we have a ideal cascade candidate for a semi-cascade. And then a very nice windswept here also. So four trees in one. So uh, very, really excited about the way they uh, grew this year. A new offering for this season is a, a group, a small group of coastal pines. And uh, uh, I, I, I like the attributes of these in that uh, you already have fairly short needles. And that's such a, that's such a plus because as you, if the folks who do the black pines know that it's, it's quite challenging to, uh, to, to remember to follow all the steps. So these, these have uh, very nice trunk bases, they have movement, and the small needles. It's a win-win. Several years ago, I became enthralled with the uh, process of attaching plants to stones. Uh, it's become one of my favorite classes in the summertime, and uh, it's, it's a class we can do early or late, and uh, it just comes out with an unbelievable natural look. Uh, we ha at this time, we have a very nice supply of the lace rock, which comes from Utah, and we have hundreds of plants that are suitable for, for uh, creating this. I'm chomping at the bit to go to the glass house to show you all the cool things in there, so let's, uh, let's exit and do that now. We've had a very exciting tree acquisition year. It's been a lot of fun, have things in here that we haven't had in years before. Uh, uh, also, we, we carved out time to do work on our trees. We had, you know, uh, a, a pretty good number of trees that were like at the 70% stage. We got them into bonsai pots and got them got the further ramification going. So some beautiful new trees for you to uh, view. And uh, uh, it's the, the, this room is just full of uh, trees that I love to carry. The Kingsville boxwoods. I will always, always, I promise to always have a good array of Kingsville boxwoods. I think it's probably most people's second favorite tree to, to a juniper. So uh, uh, we're going to talk about several of the trees now. This first specimen I'd like to talk about is a uh, Japanese beech forest in silhouette form. 
Uh, so nice to see these. These get really leafy in the summertime. It's kind of hard to discern the, the, the uh, way the, the trunks are, are situated. And uh, in fact, I, I personally like it this way better than with foliage. Um, but it's very well done. It's enough trees to be dramatic and uh, just a beautiful, healthy planting. One of our newest offerings is a very exciting tree. Uh, it's very, very old. It's a Nishiki cork bark black pine. And uh, they've always been, this, this variety has always intrigued me. Uh, they look very, very fragile, but uh, I know the history of this tree that goes back uh, uh, many, many years. So it's, uh, it's a very dependable tree. Uh, it, the, the, the way the bark sort of explodes is just amazing. Love this one. I had to include my old faithful uh, Zilkova gray bark forest planting that I still own. It's, it's gorgeous and uh, it's, it's been a fun one to have over the years. This was especially a good time to do it because when I bought these trees uh, in California, I selected each one that, that, I, that I wanted for this planting and uh, they all woke up at different times. And the strange thing is they also go to sleep at different times in the fall. So it's just super interesting. And some are yellow, some are red. So it's just a really interesting planting. And uh, uh, su super dependable uh, and uh, a, a great specimen addition to anybody's collection. This uh, forest of Procumbens Nana has been a fun one to work with over the years. It was actually one that, that I built many, many years ago with 17 trees. Uh, it was actually on a stone. Uh, they became very unhappy living on the sun, which happens uh, finally when trees have been, so many trees were on, on one, on one uh, stone. So uh, after a few declined, I decided to uh, pick out a section of this forest of the 17 trees and I chose this group, which this, these, there are eight trees here, and put it into a pot, and it has loved having that done. Uh, so we, I put these Kingsville boxwoods in, which are actually becoming like little, little showing specimens. Uh, these are over 16 years old. And I've cared for this tree for one of my clients for at least going on 10 years now. And uh, it's just super dependable, and uh, I love it. Our, our redwood forest, the, large, the largest redwood forest that we've uh, ever built, has been admired over the years uh, as probably my most photographed of all trees. Um, that's a four-man tree to carry around. Uh, we've actually created some uh, smaller forests. These are super well, they uh, were potted in the pot for about a year and a half ago. And so they're super established and uh, the health of the tree is perfect on each, every one of these. Uh, but it gives you the taste of the big, the big forest without the size. Trees are very well placed. I'm, I'm very happy with these. Moving down the aisle a bit brings me closer uh, for a close up look at the Kingsville boxwoods. Uh, we uh, obviously have uh, a very nice supply of them. We have all sizes. Uh, they go from like age 10 years up to say 55, 60 years. So the, uh, the lots of nice offerings in the Kingsville Boxwood Department. Now to my left is a tree we've talked about before. And this is a uh, pond cypress, very, very old tree, totally hollowed happy it's a lark and I just thought hey let's put this in the video because it's showing you some some uh, fall color it was actually more fiery a few days ago but it's still just gorgeous love this tree one of my favorite places to visit is the redwood forest in California uh, we have attended some shows out there that focus on shoheen-sized trees. And uh, 
uh, I try to every year uh, offer some uh, of the coastal redwoods uh, that or you know affordable and a nice size and uh, this is a good example of a of a of a, uh, a coastal redwood that i actually i learned on on several of these trees in recent years that um you can actually cut these back hard you can actually get get with it on the roots uh, they're not as tender and finicky as you think they are this one i just cut back uh the last time probably about six weeks ago. And look, it's just bursting with new foliage. Uh, I love that fact because uh, uh, in, my, in my introduction to these trees, I was really trying to baby them. We did very little root work and they, they, they never look like this. So uh, I've learned the secret. Uh, we are programmed to go back to California early in uh, uh, late January or early February. And uh, I know I'm going to be adding several of these to our menu in the spring. We're about to exit the uh, glass house and head over to the heated greenhouse where we have so many things I can't wait to show to you. If you're desiring a tree that will live, a bonsai tree that will live indoors, uh, our selection of indoor is, is really fabulous this year. Uh, we have trees that uh, of the norm like ficus and arboricola uh, we sort of expanded out of the box there and now i carry some ficus neurofolia with much more confidence uh, it's a little bit more difficult to keep them happy the uh, the additional uh, lighting from led is very valuable to do the varieties of trees that require that extra little bit of light but the numbers are really good so if you're desiring one I'm, i've got what you need today the trees that i'm in front of here are olea europa and that's the european olive and uh, i use a variety of, with the smallest leaf and it really gives it really says tree uh, there are several leaf sizes that, that you can find in olives. Uh, these were all done by uh, Gary Ishii of Chikugo Inn uh, Nursery in California. He does a beautiful job. Uh, even the tiniest ones, they, they, they say tree when you look at them. So I have a great selection of those and uh, be glad to talk to you about them. In my quest to carry some of the really highly ramified shoheen size ficus neurofolia uh, i feel very lucky to have uh, found these the next two trees i'm going to talk about uh, this one here is just like a monster shoheen trunk just a gorgeous gorgeous tree and uh, uh, it's to me it's 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 almost the ultimate here's its little brother it's which is also so very very dramatic i mentioned that 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 uh the 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 goliath ficus and the uh arboricola are the typical ones that we carry we do have quite a number of those but i just had i just had to show you these because they're just extra special in my early purchasing in the season i ran across this tree and i have not seen one in in recent years uh they just they're not brought out, brought in from china very very readily to my knowledge uh, it's a Sageridia thesans, commonly called Chinese sweet plum. I think they're fabulous. Uh, this, this tree here is ac actually already has quite a bit of age on it. Uh, it has beautiful exfoliating bark. So uh, a lot of people who get into bonsai, that's what their primary concern is. They want the real flaky bark. It makes a tree look more like a tree. And uh, this one is kind of showing off now. It's actually blooming. And it's a, such a it's an insignificant bloom, but it's still a bloom and it makes it cool. So uh, uh, this is one. I, this is I just wanted to mention this one. This is one and only that I do have. I have some uh, tiny ones that are in pre bonsai form, but uh, uh, it's just something different for a collection. Uh, this is a an example of one of our portulacarias. Uh, these were grown like in South 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 Florida, so they've. Uh, they, they grow beautifully there. These are very well rooted. Uh, I've potted several of these. Uh, you, you know, it's like uh, a good enough root system that you can put into a bonsai pot, 
without very much disturbing. They do beautiful. Uh, they do have to, uh, you know, you have to monitor them. Um, and they have a whole set of instructions to follow. But these, this particular one has just a very interesting trunk. And I've not trimmed this one yet, so uh, it's, it's set for someone else in future years to just really set this out to be a specimen. Here's another example. Again, a very, very interesting trunk. This one gives you that flavor of a, of a real, um, it's a good example of a windswept. And of course, there's one larger one that's available. And yeah, that would probably be the front. More potted like that. Great trees. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I look forward to talking to you or hopefully even seeing you here at my nursery. And I'd like to mention there's also a holiday video to follow this.